We now have a call for the lieutenant governor of Virginia, the Republican, Winsome Sears, will become the lieutenant governor of the Commonwealth of Virginia. Uh, and just over to that point for half a second, uh, uh, Steve, what in, in Virginia, it's the same situation. We had very heavy day of voting, in fact, very heavy turnout across the state generally. But the, the day of voting is what uh, decided what happened in terms of uh, how Glenn Youngkin and Winsome Sears have won this thing, it's, there's still very much a, a, a contest for control of the state legislature in Virginia. Right now, it's looking like it's still uh, about 50-50. Democrats may uh, hold on to control of the legislature. Yeah, it, it's it, very close on that front. We can actually show you, I believe, here you go. Here is the lieutenant governor result for New Jersey, uh, for New Jersey, for Virginia. And I think it jumps right out at you. Again, this is the lieutenant governor result. This is the governor result they're tracking almost most perfectly here. This is one of those things you see in politics. A rising tide can lift all boats. So you see Youngkin winning statewide. Now the projection for Winsome Sears, the other outstanding statewide race in Virginia. This one is not called yet, but look at this. This is the incumbent attorney general, a Democrat, Mark Herring, 97 percent in. This race is a little bit closer than those other two, but it's Herring right now who trails by 1.6 points, by 50,000 votes. Uh, so Herring has got a pretty daunting task in front of him. This race not called by our decision desk, but he can't feel good about the fact that he's trailing by that much and that we just called the lieutenant governor's race and that we've already called the governor's race. And again, you can see these are tracking pretty closely together right now.